Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Next Evolution playthrough, and this time we are off to Juggernaut, and we are playing with Domino's Pre-Build Justice deck, and uh, let's quickly go over what is happening in this scenario. So we have the Juggernaut. So Juggernaut comes into play with the permanent uh, attachment, Juggernaut's helmet. So it is a permanent attached to Juggernaut. Juggernaut gains stalwart and his attacks gain overkill. Hero action spend three resources of the same time. Remove each momentum counter from Juggernaut to this card. Then uh, we have Juggernaut here. So Juggernaut has uh, asterisk. So Juggernaut gets plus one attack for each momentum counter here. And when revealed, place one momentum counter here. Give Juggernaut a tough status card. So Juggernaut has 18 health, stalwart, tough, and one momentum counter on him. Then uh, we, after doing the setup, we flip this over. So we have a uh, threat threshold of seven. We start with one, but we won't be losing the game if this advances. Instead, there's a forced interrupt. When this scheme would be completed, instead, do each of the following. Remove all threats from here. Uh, if Juggernaut Exposed is in play, flip it. So the other side of Juggernaut's helmet has Juggernaut Exposed. And uh, then place one momentum counter on Juggernaut. And Juggernaut attacks each player in player order, even if they are in alter ego. Then... Uh, uh, the last thing we do in the setup is we add Hop Summers to the first player. And Hop Summers doesn't have any consequential damage here, so you can attack and ward with her all you want. And then uh, Hop Summers base ward and base attack are equal to the ward and attack of your hero. And if Hop Summers leaves play, the players lose the game. Hope Summer also has a mental resource type, so that comes into play when we get this flipped over. So we have the Juggernaut exposed, permanent attached to Juggernaut. Juggernaut takes one additional damage for each card with a printed uh, mental resource. And as I understand it, wilds count as whatever, so I, I'm not sure if this... Um, it needs to be printed so wilds don't count. That is my understanding. So I'm playing like that. And forced response after Juggernaut schemes, place one momentum counter on Juggernaut with this card. So basically, when he gets to scheme, um, we are not stopping him from putting the helmet back on. And that is bad. But yeah, uh, the goal is to defeat Juggernaut. Simple as that. But we'll see. This is. Not an easy scenario. In my test play, uh, I was in trouble quite fast with the uh, overkill. So uh, you just can't jump block uh, before you get the helmet off. But we'll see how this goes. So we are ready to begin. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, uh, we are ready to begin, so let's draw our opening hand. We'll see what we get, so we get a good workout, tip the bug, team investigation, feral, luck and good, and probability field, okay. Okay, let's see. So, uh, first off, I will use Hope Summers to just hit off the top. And uh, let's put uh, Pip the Pug. Uh, draw a card and put Pip underneath or on top of our deck. I mean, uh, we'll flip to hero mode. And uh, I'm actually thinking of playing this slow. So we could remove the helmet immediately. So I could use the Outlaw, Team Investigation, 
and lucky and good. And this is just to... So we are... Uh, all of these are mental resources for this. So we get to flip this over. So Juggernaut immediately loses the helmet. And now takes uh, extra damage. Then I'm thinking just... Uh, Not rushing it, so we will put this. No, let's uh, do a good workout. And well, no, I think I'll put the probability field in play because there are cards that uh, put force you to discard an ally or upgrade or support. So we'll play probability field and we will hit with domino so we'll flip the top card because we are using a basic power so if the pug is discarded so we deal four damage plus one so five damage to juggernaut and that is it so we ready up one two three four five we get strength full spain right place uh, right time Digging deep and sharpshooter. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the uh, main scheme. Juggernaut attacks. I will defend with Domino. So my defense will be boosted to 4. And Juggernaut hits for 2 plus 2 is 4, so we don't take any damage. So that's good. The first encounter card of the game is Creeping Willow. Guard. And quick strike so this unfortunately hits us uh, and I don't want to get any damage on Hope Summers because uh, reasons so uh, we'll just take it so we are stunned and we have to figure out how to deal with this guy next round but that is the first round let's go to the next round Okay, let's see what we can do here. So we need to get rid of that creeping willow. So I'm thinking actually of playing Wolfsbane. So we'll play Wolfsbane and I'll use strength and right place, right time. And I'll, well, mm, yeah, so Wolfsbane. And Hope Summers will hit this guy, kill it. And uh, if we will, would thwart with Wolfsbane, uh, name a card type, then discard the card of your deck. If that card is the name type, you may add it to your hand, but I'm not doing that. We need to get rid of that uh, Creeping Willow. And uh, I'm just keeping these. So we ready up, we draw back up to 5, genius, lucky break and jackpot. Okay, next round we can do the jackpot move, maybe. Okay, mm. we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, juggernaut attacks, we again defend and uh, I'm defending, uh, so we get uh, plus 2 to our defense, so we are at 5, so 2 plus 1, and you are stunned, so I'm already stunned, so nothing happens, but we don't take any damage, and the encounter card is uh, Citrax Exemplar, in not, not reading the expert mode, so when revealed, if Juggernaut is, if, if Juggernaut exposed is in play, flip it, and place one momentum counter on Juggernaut. Otherwise, place threat on the main scheme equal to Juggernaut's attack. Mm. Well, we don't have any way to cancel that, so this is unfortunately flipped. Okay, and we place one momentum on Juggernaut. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, let's see, just checking 
So uh, yeah, uh, Juggernaut also loses Stalwart when the helmet is split, but uh, it didn't matter last round. So I'm uh, immediately using Genius and uh, luck, Lucky Break to play Sharpshooter down. No, uh, Genius and Lucky Break to flip the helmet. Then... Uh, Hmm. I will sword. So these are gone. Should I sword? Yeah, I'm I'm hitting with hope summers. Then I am placing yeah, I'm, I'll chase the top card my deck with okay it's, it's digging deep so um, I am saying that it is a resource so we may add it to our hand so we'll spend towards for two and uh, we reveal a resource so we get to grab it and I am actually playing the sharpshooter down just to protect the probability field. And that is our turn, so we're ready up. Uh, winding down the juggernaut slowly but surely. Uh, one, two, three, four, okay. So we get diamond back, uh, digging deep, the painted lady, white fox, and jackpot. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Juggernaut attacks. I will again defend. And we get one to our defense. So two plus three. Um, that is enough to inflict one damage on us. Uh, then we get an encounter card. It is Head of, head of Steam. So Juggernaut. Against retaliate axe, where axe is the number of moment encounters, so it is zero, uh, luckily. Uh, when revealed, attach head of theme to Juggernaut and place one momentum counter on him. Res Hero response After Juggernaut attacks, you spend one resource for each damage dealt by that attack. Discard this card. Okay, so Juggernaut gets one momentum counter, and this is attached. Okay, so that is that. So, yeah, we need to get rid of that, but that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we are going to cheat White Fox in, into play. So I'm uh, changing White Fox onto the top of my deck. Then we just ward and say an ally, so yeah. It is an ally, but it is uh, we decide to discard it, but it comes into play. So that is that. Then uh, we really want to find the weapons, but apparently they are stuck in the bottom of the deck. We are using the even the odds and painted lady to play diamond back. And we'll keep these resources in hand. And uh, Hope Summers will hit for two damage. And the white lady will hit for one damage. And uh, I'll use the ability here, so we'll discard a card, 
we deal one damage. And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to five. Uh, right place, right time. Overwatch and even the odds. We are not getting lucky with our draws, but uh, well, it is what it is. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to Juggernaut or the main scheme. Uh, Juggernaut attack. So now Juggernaut has an attack of three. I will defend. The probability field says plus two. So we are at five. So uh, three against five and four. We don't take any damage. This gets discarded. And we are stunned, but we are already stunned. So that didn't matter. The encounter card for this round is making green. So two threat and hinder two. So each copy of creeping will again search. So we need to get rid of that, but uh, luckily we have ways to do that. But that is uh, the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. And just uh, to say that um, after Juggernaut attacks, you spend one resource for each damage dealt by that attack. This card, this card. So we took zero damage, so I have to spend zero so I could just discard that. Okay, but uh, let's see. First off, I will uh, change the top card with jackpot. And uh, even the odds, okay. Uh, I'll play. Well, I'll play the. I'll use the even the odd. No, no. So I'll put this here. Overwatch. So Overwatch is uh, when an, uh, any amount of threat is removed from attached scheme by a board, discard this card, remove an equal amount of threat from the, a different scheme. And uh, we will play right place, right time. No. First, we will hit. With Diamondback, no, we'll use the ability on Diamondback, so we will do this jackpot, so we deal 3 damage. And I have been forgetting, we have... So we deal 4 damage, so I think I have forgotten to apply, so I'll just say that we uh, have dealt a couple of more damages, so... Juggernaut is down to one, so when uh, this is discarded, we shuffle it back into our deck. Okay. Then we play uh, right place, right time, and we'll use even the odds. Challenge two. So we remove uh, three plus we discard a card. A lady, so we are in five and we remove that. This goes here, and that is that. Then, uh, Hope Summers will hit Chagonaut to phase two. So, again, Chagonaut gets a plus one to the attack. Juggernaut gets plus one attack for each momentum counter here. When revealed, place one momentum counter here. If Juggernaut explodes, is in play. Flip it. Otherwise, give Juggernaut a tough status card. So, Juggernaut has. So this is flipped. Gain stalwart. Gain tough. And has 21 hit points. Okay, well, uh, now Juggernaut hits like a truck, but yeah, I'll use White Fox to hit off the tough, and we ready up. We draw one, two, three, four. We get Atlas Bear, Sharpshooter, the Posse, and Jackpot, 
and digging deep. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Oh dear. Drop. And Juggernaut attacks. I will defend with Domino. So Juggernaut has five attack. So we use the probability field. So we get. Um, we lose a weapon, but I think we the both both of the weapons are in the discard. If I'm so yeah, well the other one is still in the deck, <laughs> and we really want to get it so we can start using the sharpshooter. But uh, we have a defense of five, and uh, juggernaut hits for two damage. Okay, then we get an encounter card. It is Citorax Exemplar. So when revealed, if juggernaut exposes it in play, flip it and place one momentum counter on juggernaut. Otherwise, place threat on the main scheme equal to juggernaut's attack. So uh, we place threat. Um, let's see. So it is five. So we are one away from advancing. So we need to ward like crazy next round. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. I also noticed that I forgot to defeat Diamondback. So we'll just discard her for now. Okay. Um, I will play Atlas Bear, then uh, I'm chasing the top card, and we'll play Posse. So we have three Posse here, uh, characters, so we heal, uh, okay, we'll do that in a moment, but first we will, should I instead I don't have the resources. I had like a mixed bag of resources, yeah, so... We'll just... Uh, thwart, 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 so we thwart for four. No, uh, three because it hope only has one thwart. Okay. And uh, then we play the posse. So we ready each posse and heal one damage from each of them. Then uh, I think I will just remove the stun and hit. And hit. So Atlas Bear has two now. No, uh, we healed. So one and uh, White Fox has two. So we hit, hit, and hit. Okay, so uh, we get Chicken uh, Out down to 19 health. That is our turn, and we ready up. We draw back up to five, and one, two, three, four, five. That is the rest of the deck. So unfortunately, we get an extra encounter card. Doing a quick shuffle to our draw deck, and we are ready to continue. Okay, so we have uh, Take Out the Guards, Team Investigation, Super Power Training, Domino's Pistol and Digging Deep. So finally we will get at least one Domino's Pistol in play maybe next round. So we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme and uh, Juggernaut attacks, Domino will defend, we get plus two defense. So we are at five against five, six, so we take one damage. 
and we get the encounter cards. It is Trample. When revealed, Juggernaut attacks the ally with the fewest remaining hit points. Ouch. Okay, so we get we are getting wrecked this round. We have no way to stop the attack. So uh, White Fox is go going to get trampled over, and I think we are going to die. <laughs> So, um, yeah, yeah, uh, so five, uh, four damage, we are down to one because of the overkill, ouch, and uh, then the other one is assault, so the villain attacks you, well, we'll defend and uh, plus three so yeah we are dead but yeah I, I think still this was a good run uh, we didn't get the dominoes pistols in play fast enough because uh, with the sharpshooter if we had those pistols in play we would have dwindled down uh, chugging out really fast because uh, each time we are using the dominoes pistol we discard one card then we discard another card so there are is double chance to get uh, the wild icons so if you get this combo it is three damage if you get two wild icons it's four damage etc so we would have uh, really speeded up uh, beating up uh, juggernaut but it is what it is and uh, yeah still i think this is a interesting scenario it is quite simple and you really be have to be mindful of the overkill on juggernaut's helmet so you really need to flip it when you have the chance. I think uh, we last round we had a mixed bag of resources again. So maybe maybe I could have played this better, but it is what it is. But still, uh, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.